I wanted to take something that was being thrown away and make something functional and beautiful out of it. Former Benton County Detective Ayla Thomas convinced Benton County jail officials to donate used jail uniforms, and out of it was born Bars and Stripes. We've got all different sizes of tote bags. We have sunglass cases. We have aprons, um, pet bandanas, dog toys. We try not to let any piece of the uniform go to waste. Vela had the vision. Her mother, Velda, had the sewing machine. First, they'll look at them, double take, because they're not quite sure what the fabric is. Vela didn't want to sell the items outright. She wanted them to benefit a good cause, and that's when she learned about Nicole's House, a Rogers faith-based transitional home for women coming out of addiction and incarceration. And quickly, she turned their basement into a sewing studio. And I think it's amazing. I mean, something that would just go as garbage is now being useful. And some of the people now helping make them useful used to wear the uniforms themselves. It's amazing to take something that was so so awful in my life and do this wonderful thing with it. The money from sales goes to help women once they graduate Nicole's house. It helped Annie pay for an apartment. I got the idea that I had a second chance. The uniform, which once represented lawlessness, now bringing hope to women like Annie. Kind of a way to kind of set themselves free from it and to not let that dictate who they are or how they are. Um, they get to use those stripes now and those, those stripes don't define them anymore. In Rogers, Paul Petit, 4029 News.